Hello and welcome back to Operation Driving Rhyme. War of the Chosen, Legendary Iron Man, we are playing Rookie Balboa. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our attempt to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with nothing but rookies. Four men only, rookies, no modifications and nothing. On top of that, permanent dark events and it really shows this campaign has taken its very fine toll on us. We are on the last step before uh, getting to water world and actually looks surprisingly good i won't say it's uh, easy it, it is like being punched in the mouth every th uh, single mission but just like uh, the title already says it's not about how hard of a punch you can give but about how much you can take that's the uh, motto of rocky and operation driving rhyme is a true uh, incarnation of that we're going to fight against the chosen warlock that is plenty of uh, um, summonings will happen we're also going to fight against a lot of chrysalids which is going to be an absolute annoyance uh, an unforeseen absolute annoyance heavy mechs elite troopers elite shield bearer just to make it worse and then there are codices in the hopes of maybe spawning an avatar that we can take down modify the weapons uh, a bit more uh, and, and removed some of the auto loaders for uh, superior hair triggers but we still got weapons that have a little bit more ammunition for the loss in case of uh, them showing up since we're going to fight against the gatekeeper we need to have at least two blue screen rounds and i'll try to save the double shot uh, of these two for the actual gatekeeper whilst these two can use their double shot on the avatar whom i hope we can summon and beat we got the skull jack uh, that is essentially blocking one slot this here is our anti chrysalite uh, um, option just in case they come closer we will potentially need to just carefully overwatch and then a aaron is going to scout since uh, the poison will not uh, um, will not hurt him as much as the others and we got our mimic beacons which are going to be our kind of uh, get out of jail card apologies for that uh, like i said the campaign has taken a toll on us let's wake up let's get this going let's energize ourselves as this is potentially another one of those really 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 difficult missions here we go okay we landed guys i am quite proud i must say that we even made it so far can we completely win this uh, uh, this campaign i don't know i i really do not know but i do know that we started on high ground with a nice little option to stand up on top of this barn And I also do know Eyes on hostile patrol. that we got to be careful with the chrysalids. Let's do this. All right, Aaron goes there, and Jerenks goes there. I think on. Storyline missions, you cannot get a double agent. Chrysalid on the right hand side. I don't know if you noticed, but there was one. All right, on top here. Super attentive now. At uh, the river. At the entrance, uh, left of the entrance, da uh, also left down at the entrance, middle and uh, middle and middle. Okay. Good, and we know there is another one over here. Closing 
on target position now. I do not want a mimic beacon play here. Yes, we need these later. I am wondering if we could get some sort of an Overwatch trap going for us. Affirmative, moving out. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Come into our direction. Oh, barely did not recognize us. On my way. Good. Relocating. Very much relocating. If they are moving into us, that would be perfect because that's four free shots that we're getting right away. Okay, same deal. They have a sizable detection radius, if I may say so. Jarangs moves up here in the hopes of getting caught out. If they go back, they would see him. And they will sooner or later walk into him. Hopefully sooner than later. Okay. Good, moving up. Okay, they are going back. This this might trigger now. If not this turn, it will trigger next turn. Did it reveal? Barely not. Oh wow. So close. Okay, cool. Well we're looking for quadruple overwatch moves in. There we go. Hit, hit. Very nice hit. Alright, we're starting with getting the mech down. Interestingly enough, I don't know if you noticed, but losses are going to be here. Taking the high ground, this is a better chance to hit. Yeah, we're just going to take that shot. Alright, reload. Overwatch. Warlock <clears throat> will come in. And he will be a menace as well. That plus the continuous swarm of loss uh, will be will be a problem yeah 
summons chrysalids, mist shots will generate shielding. And yeah, I think we I think we're going to be fine with him. It's quite a bit of armor. The chosen aren't going to make this easy for us. Keep your heads down and press forward. We need to get to their location to take them out. What for? Four. No. It's two and two. But effectively, four. The same question. What? Four? And then followed by the question. What? Four? Oh, Lord. Yeah, so, okay, wow. Well, that's an advantage in itself. But it's also a disadvantage to just stay here. Okay, who has that deep magazine? It's our frontliner, Jeranks. All right. Okay. Target priority, Chrysalids, number one, without a shadow of a doubt. All right, Aaron has uh, the autoloaders, might as well use them at the beginning. Let's get a couple of the dashers down. We do not have blue screen rounds, right? No. He basically just has normal damage. And that's okay. Which means he's a perfect candidate for the chrysalid. And an execution. Gotcha. The worst thing that we could do now is to school Jack. Um... I think that goes without saying or explaining, but in case you are having a death wish. That would uh, that would be potentially what you would want to do. Taking a position over here. Kill the codex. Way too many cord uh, codices. But like I said, there is not that much we can do about it. Other than... Just moving back. Chrysalid can deal with these guys for now. Don't want to trigger more. We move to here. But that's potentially still in range of the chrysalid. So what we're going to do is just offer a nice target for that sonic bomb that will come in. Nope. No hit. 
So that should be quite a bit of feedback. 12 points, 4, 4, and 4, down to 1 HP, alright. Overwatch won't help you. You spectral zombies. Alright, there is the nasty spectral rupture that we were all waiting for. Lost turn. Yeah, hit that codex and kill it, please. Nice. Thank you. We have no auto loader, right? No, we don't. We move to here, but that would be in chrysalid range. And we want to keep that last codex. And we want to keep that last codex. We're not ready f to kill him, uh, to kill it yet. But I also don't want another psionic bomb. It's a good question. Should we do it? We're pretty much in the middle of nowhere here. Lots of spectral zombies. There's a chrysalid back there. Back Got no ammo. Really poor positioning for us overall. Let's try to get those dashers down. That's not a dasher. Okay, cool. So, I think we we would need to stall. Let me think.
The school trick thing is actually an option. If we were to use Mimic Beacon afterwards. We could stall for one more round. Hmm. We might not get another chance. We had seen how many? 17 enemies. Uh, we saw six chrysalids burrowing. Pack of three, that's nine. Chosen, that's ten. Plus four. Yeah, that, that might be all we get. And we will get another psionic bomb next turn if we're not being careful. All right, screw it. Risky maneuver. This guy is a problem. Out of actions there, okay. And what we want to do is advanced teamwork to use the mimic beacon to not let it roam free and here we're just going to explode all of the spectral zombies Another problem, but okay. No, 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 do not. Oh, yeah, well, that is okay. You can do that all day long. be a nice hit. Shredstone cannon is just incredible. Should we shred it to zero hit points? Sounds like a good idea to me. as far away from that potential explosion as possible over here I think we have the perfect position here it removes all the cover and everything.
Crucellid is a real big problem as well. So Jarenx needs to reload, there is no two ways about it, and we potentially will need to use action shifting. Hate to do it, but it prevents a lot of damage and a lot of problems. Is the chrysalid in range? This could be in range. This here is barely not in range. But we need to focus. Ah, but do we? Got a mimic beacon. I don't want to use the second mimic beacon. We need to play it without that. All right, here we go. Chrysalids are super dangerous. 55% is going to be as good as it gets for now. And look at that. Could it even be a execution? No, but close to. Mind control. Can't get him out of uh, the mind control. So what we will do is we're moving up as close as possible to get proximity bonus and half cover. And this should be a kill. All right. Mission objective number one. Tick mark. We got ourselves a nice little engage reasonable amount of uh, of resources used one mimic beacon is down one explosive is down and three action moves are down out of four but no dual shots that's good and we killed a pack of three two packs of two so that's seven we also did the avatar And two chrysalids. So that's nine right there with very limited resources. And we did not rely on uh, on any form of execution that, that needed to happen. I was just solidly played uh, from the first trap all the way to actually hitting the enemy. And keep in mind we did that on top to the spectral zombies, which just kept on coming here, right?
Okay, so... Medkit over here, so... Naturally, Aaron will be the new scout. And we're in a good position. I like what I'm seeing so far. Half an hour in, and we did not get overrun so far. Zero hit point damage. Actually, quite good. Okay, good. So, what are we going to do? We know, potentially, we're just going to wait a bit until more losses are going to spawn because that will give us a phenomenal scouting option against the borrowed chrysalids yeah the lost uh, the lost world is a Happy accident, I would say. I don't know if it makes the run easier or more difficult. At times I hate just how many losses are rushing towards us. And they are draining a lot of willpower as well. But then, on other times, it is really straightforward. Because they kind of take attention from bigger enemies. The lure, just uh, the ultrasonic lure became such a valuable item. So yeah, it seems like a double-edged sword. We still have yeah we never had free reloads okay it's good if the team just overwatches it appears as if no further loss are spawning that is strange normally they continue to keep on spawning but i distinctly remember that i played this map a couple of times sometimes also um the losts were present and in most of those cases the losts uh, tended to not be present for the entire time so they were not spawning in unlimited amounts this one is gone this one is gone but we can only gradually see into the into the fog of war The reason why I'm first of all going on to Overwatch and then moving onwards is if we really trigger one of uh, the chrysalids, they will charge towards us. Perfect opportunity to have, an, uh, to have a full Overwatch. And yeah, the strategy is kill it before it reaches us. New zombies should uh, should appear very soon. I want that high ground. And we need to go through this very carefully. In case you think, uh, why is he going through with um, Overwatch turtling? Well, I can tell you that, dear... Uh, dear illusionary strawman that has an argument with me during uh, the sessions if you only have rookies right and if you have really really poor aim and if you only have four men the margin for error is i would say not only slim it is non so the moment that i would do something here that is more aggressive I'm taking risk and with that risk 
There's a very good probability that we're going to see injuries. And with those injuries, there will be a further propelling effect because all of a sudden you end up with more resources that you need to use. And more resources means typically that something is going horribly wrong. And towards the end of the mission, what that uh, then finally means is... Towards the end of the mission, what that uh, typically then means is... We're finding ourselves in a situation where... We're fighting against the gatekeeper and say half of our rookies are either dead, unconscious, uh, needed to be evac or whatnot. And I can't finish the mission. So, trust me. This here requires a very, very careful approach. Order confirmed. On the move. So we're reloading. Next turn, new zombies. Moving to designated position. I'd rather reload instead of have problems afterwards. That's the last autoloader that we had, I think, now from now on. Yep, we have... No, we didn't even have an autoloader. Good that I reloaded. Good, moving up. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're scarily close to the actual thing. One board here, one board here, one board here, one board here, and one board here. You gotta pay attention, my friend, to uh, to where you've just been. This here is super close to where we want to be. All right, zombies, and next turn we're going to start pulling them. And with them, I mean the chrysalids. Please, kill all three of the zombies. I don't want to move down and then back up. All right, good shot. Okay, so Overwatch. Overwatch. He has the med kit. Drank's Overwatches as well. And we're carefully going over here. Alright, another Overwatch. We need to pull these beasts one by one. And in between, we gotta suffer through the zombie hordes. Overwatch. 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 Careful movement. I know they are there. I definitely know they are there. Right over here. And up there. On the upside, what this means is we might be able to take that other hill over here. Alright, Overwatch. Come on! No! Yes, and kill! Come on! Fantastic. That worked like a charm. Okay. 
two out of three. That's what we need. That's one down. There's another one here. There's another one over there. Careful. You're treading in very, very, very dangerous waters here. So that's one. Doesn't trigger. Another one who goes over here. And one that stands right there. Okay, so far so good. One with the least target, Sane. It's the Spectral Zombie. Hit, very good. Hey Aaron, reloads. And yeah, let's take a shot. Good. We will bring this resistance to a close. Good, moving up. It's actually, relatively speaking, difficult to keep all of the ammunition. It, you need to have a lot of things in mind now. Always keeping the ammunition, making sure that you uh, that you time the warlock who's going to start summoning next turn again. I think we're just going to wait one round of zombies. Makes it easier. They are spawning now and we should be fine. Destroy all who would defy the elders. Unfortunately, Spectral Zombies do not trigger the Borod Chrysalids. Good. Now we have an, an opportunity. Reload. 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 We got an Overwatch. We got another Overwatch. And we got another Overwatch. And this should trigger one chrysalid from over here. There is another one that's the next one that we need to get. Yeah, for moving. Good. Two out of three. Two out of three. Let's go. That's one. Very good. Very good. And there we go. Fantastic. Good stuff. 
Next one is here and here. Good, we got zombies incoming if my memory serves me well. So it's really... Everybody moves a bit back and we're overwatching zombies. Next turn we're going to try to pull this one and this one without triggering the eyeball. Alright, so far we're doing an okay job with the zombies. Enemy down. Should trigger. Good, there we go. Come on, come on. No. Yes. And come on. No. Ooh. Alright, we're immune. That's why he's the one doing all of that. Okay, should we heal up is the question. I don't think so, not yet. That would waste two hit points. We're unfortunately poisoned, but it's not a normal poison, it's the chrysalid poison, so it does not give you the to hit debuff. Okay, let's wait one more round of zombies. There is another one board here and here, so careful. Wow, how could you miss that one? Very good. Okay, we're in full overwatch mode. This should not yet trigger the eyeball. There is definitely one more over there. We fight for the glory of the elders. I cannot hide for long. My power precedes me wherever I go. Got it covered. Trying desperately. To be in a position where we're not triggering that gatekeeper. Good copy, moving on target. Affirmative, covering now. Listen. But trigger this guy here. 
all of this here is already triggering range for the gatekeeper who would come up to here which is unfortunately out of range from our high ground position so we need to find a different way perfect option would be to stay here move up then attack it but that only works if there are not a lot of chrysalids so the game plan is to somehow get the chrysalids out First of all, it's killing the spectral zombies. But yeah, the idea is get the chrysalids out without uh, triggering the gatekeeper. Okay, so. More spectral zombies. And guys, I need to play this, unfortunately, ultra careful. The moment that I wouldn't do that, I know exactly how this mission is can escalate. I've seen it times and times again with uh, six men squads, mind you, fully equipped, fully leveled six men squads. And I remember the saving the disaster campaign that I did with six rookies. So this year is a tiny bit more difficult than that. It's that stinks. I definitely know they are here and here. They refuse to come out. Good. That got it. All right. Two out of three. Two out of three. Two out of two. Two out of two. Oh yeah. Taken care of. My expectations for them were exceedingly low. I'm on it. I'm pretty sure there's still one here. Or kind of here. But there is no one over here. So what we can do, and should do, after this round is move over and take that right high ground because that will be the victory against the eyeball. Good, more spectral zombies. Good. Move in. I'm on the move. And now we're going to go to the other side. Just in case some of the chrysalids decide to charge us, we're going to have a few overwatches ready.
Well, that's interesting. It's a different challenge than before. We might mimic beacon this. Alright, reload. And kill this uh, thing. Pronto. Oh, I do have an idea of how we can outsmart these guys. I think at least that I do have a good idea. Look, uh, oh wait, hair trigger, that's even better. Good, this should put all of us out of reach. <laughs> need to move all the way to here then jump up that should be too far to actually do it am i risking that hmm we would save a mimic beacon which we could use against uh, the eyeball How many fields is this? Halfway, full way. Might be able to reach us. Even if it's barely. If it would, it would need to go From here all the way, jump up, and here. Took the last spot where it could easily jump up. Could it move here and then jump up here? Maybe. Uh, I hate these mind games. It is on the edge. Worst thing that could happen is we kill it, use our nanomed kit, and call it a day. Yeah. We could also use the dual strike to finish it. I want the dual strike for the warlock. And I would want the beacon for the, fa uh, for the eyeball. So yeah, med kit it is. Oh, it had tactical analysis. Well, that... Never mind. Never mind. I thought they triggered on their uh, turn. Well... That was actually quite uh, quite a nifty idea um, to just fly back with the uh, with the suit <laughs> and basically use one charge in order to uh, solve that problem. Good, same moves here and zombies. Next up, we want to get over here. What? A 
Okay, cool. Yeah, please come. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Come here. Come on, run in, please. I I dare you, run in. Well, now I dare you to just stay there and wait. What? Alright, Mind Scorch. One of our soldiers is in a daze. We need to snap him out of it. On my way. You think that this is going to scare me? You do not know me well enough then. Let's rock. Time to get those guys out of the way. He's very likely going to try to mind control us. Already used his Beastmaster cooldown. I don't want to stand in the open. He still has a respectable rifle that he can use. He couldn't see us here, not even if he was there, so this is actually a safe spot, thanks to the tree. If you know how line of sight works, you are, uh, you can take those types of covers. He could theoretically go here and then barely see us, but I doubt he will do that. Yep. Instead, he mind controls like a champ. Mind control will be broken right away. Wait, what? Why is Aaron's mind control not broken? Um, excuse me? Excuse moi? Mm -hmm. Okay, well. I want to take the high ground here, so let's just draw him a little bit further back. What's a good option for that? This here is good cover, or decent cover. Over here wouldn't be bad, but I don't know if there is the potential for chrysalid. Hmm. Hmm. Could try to go to here, then take high ground. That's an option. We move up to here. He hits quite hard with his rifle and his cooldowns are down. So keep that in mind, Saiken. 
Full cover it is for the most injured person. Reload Overwatch. Reload Overwatch and Overwatch. Triple Overwatch. There is a good chance that he runs in and will get shanted. All right, come on. There we go. There we go. That's what you get for being a prick. You bullied others at school? All right. You try to be extra smart? Okay. You try to summon your zombies uh, round after round after round again? Cool. Be my guest, no problem. But you gotta live with the consequences. And this time the consequence was a big fat execution. There you go. Hell yeah, I'm pumped. We're close to finishing this mission and it looks good. I just don't need to screw it up now. But there's no trace of that chosen left. I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. Still, at least we ruined their plans today. Moving to designated good, we're very soon going to continue. I'm not going to take the loot. It's not worth risking the mission over a little bit of loot. Hmm. Let's start moving over here. Chrysalids should be mostly gone. And no more zombies will be coming in, so there is much better timing for us. Let's count through. We killed two at the very beginning of uh, the mission. We killed a pack of three plus two. Plus two, that's seven. Uh, those were the codices. Plus two chrysalids. Then we lured out one, two, three chrysalids, two of which we killed, one of which bit us. And then we had another pack of uh, three chrysalids. So that overall. Sounds like 14 for me, meaning we're likely going to see the eyeball. Well, in the chosen 15, we're likely going to see the eyeball and one more chrysalid here. Moving to designated position. Understood. Moving out. Moving. Good. Careful pack movement here. Overwatch and A. Aaron moves in. Good, same deal as before. And Aaron moves in further. I'm not sure what we were expecting. Looks promising. That's not the same risk the Codex used when it appeared. This thing could lead anywhere. It may not even be pointing at Earth. As with most things, we'll likely need to bring it back to the ship for further examination. Well, not the start I was hoping for. But it was the start that we were getting. All right. Luckily, we had saved our mimic beacon.
Good, equally so. Let's get into full cover. Shred this guy nicely. Good first shredding. I want to charge into far, and I still don't know if there is a. Potentially overreacting. There is the remaining shredding. Almost got it up to high ground. Time for a dual strike. This should deal really, really, really a lot of damage. What? Apparently, I didn't even need to shred it. Oh boy. 66 enemies and we made it. Almost unscathed, with the exception of that one chrysalid, and I uh, miscounted. I miscounted. We could have gotten closer to the actual uh, to the actual gate, and that eye uh, ball really came out a long way. We equally could have just stood there in high uh, in uh, in high ground, but it's all good. Look at the end. Uh, we had a solid combat position. Dual strike was still ready for both uh, sides. We even had more. We had more uh, resources available than we needed. All in all, it was a good mission. This just goes to show that the chosen are vulnerable. And we can take them down. We just have to good. We got the Psionic Gate. We got the Avatar Corpse. That's exactly what we needed. Upgrade, Sony Gate, thank you. We will need to make the appropriate modifications to the shadow chamber first, Commander. Well, that's it. that has already been done. You saw how quick we built that, right? Good, we still don't have any more cores, okay? But I'm asking myself if we really need them. We have everything that we would need. We just need to continue researching and we should be fine. Yes, we could get a plasma breakthrough, but equally so, we could uh, get more. We could get more uh, dark events and no one wants dark events, right? Right. The supply rate, however, I think that is still valuable. I want to make sure that we have the absolute optimal gear that we could get. The last mission will not be easy at all. And we need some more intel for the network tower because I want to buy all of the goodies that, that I could buy. That is irrelevant. And I really don't feel like doing a mission with 24. Hidden event. That could be a problem. Return fire, that could definitely be a big problem. So it's likely going to be Operation Steel Tower. But that brings us to the end of today's uh, episode just in time. We're going to continue here the next time. Thank you so much for watching. It is a pleasure uh, to be that far in the campaign. It's truly an honor. And 
now the only thing that we need to do is really research i'll be very careful not to put the main items on the line i basically would want to kind of lock them on uh, on a squad and just take whatever alternatives we do have at this point just to make sure we're not uh, messing up uh, the uh, the main items and yeah we're just we're just cruising until we finally have everything researched there is a debate that one could have um, whether or not we want to have a few more normal researches the advantage of that would be there is a chance for plasma weapon breakthrough but that is tiny tiny so not sure if it's really worth it i'm really not sure Uh, we need to double check Roby also when he's back. I think he's really now at 80% 80, 80 dodge with with a suit, which would be great. Good. That leads us to the uh, brings us to the end of uh, the episode. Leave a comment down below. Tell me how you uh, thought that the uh, that the gate mission uh, turned out to be, and tell me how you deal with borrowed chrysalids. I would like to see if anyone has a better strategy. Thank you, and see you soon. Bye bye.